Hello, and welcome back to Portal with me, David Moulton. Uh, we're on test chamber six, so let's give this thing a go. Alright, so we've got balls of energy. Our is one of many enrichment center goals. The Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Now these early chambers are really simple. See, this is pretty... pretty simple. Unbelievable. You. Subject name, here. Must be the pride of. Subject hometown, here. Yeah, so, they're pretty easy, but they're gonna get hard real soon. Uh, so we're gonna get into the elevator and head to test chamber 7. Um, now there's 19 test chambers, so you can imagine we're moving pretty, pretty quickly here. Once we get the other pearl portal gun, the orange, things are gonna get some, gonna get serious. That's when the puzzles get more difficult. And, uh, GLaDOS gets a little bit more upset. Now, this is not one of those games with, uh, lots Warning of devices are required on all things to pick up or secrets However, or anything. It's mostly just puzzles. Hazard lights but, uh, have been found to agitate we might find some secrets along, along the way. And have therefore been disabled for your safety. Okay. So, well, we've... This is this is where it gets a little bit more tricky. So that's where it's coming out. And it'll pop out here and go into that one. So that's not that tricky. I thought it would be a multiple bounce. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. There I am. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you'll see when we get ahead that you have to bounce the ball off of several walls to get it to where you want to go. I thought we were dealing with something like that, but we weren't. No big deal. It's been a couple years since I played this the whole way through. So, of course I'm going to forget some stuff. And there we go. Test chamber 7. Down. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, uh -oh. followed by death. Good uh -oh. luck. Okay, so don't drink the water, don't fall in the water, don't get touched by that giant ball. Test chamber 8 of 19. 19 test chambers. Okay, so we want this to go through there. See, this is one of those. Ah, I was off. Get that. There we go. Hopefully, it still has enough energy. Oh yeah. I need to get over here so I can place a portal there and wait for that to come back. Evil toxic sludge. Don't want to get in that. See, somebody's watching us up here. Oh, I'm gonna miss it. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. <laughs> I don't believe that. Seems pretty real to me. And we are moving quick. Uh, test chamber 9. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Oh. Make no attempt to solve it. No attempt to solve it. We've got blocks. We're, we're almost halfway through the test chambers. Can you believe it? It's pretty crazy. So... What we need to do now is we need to get up there. Now, I heard somewhere that this test is solvable, and I think it's this one that's solvable in four. The enrichment center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. I don't think that that's doable, but 
we're going to give it a shot. So that was one, that was two. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Obviously that was the wrong one that was four portals since it only took me two. Alright, come on, let's get something harder. We need some... Where's the other gun? I gotta get the other gun soon. Almost seems too easy. Hello again. To reiterate... Momentum. We need to use momentum. Like that. That's one of the cool things about these portals is that uh, inertia and stuff doesn't affect you. So as we'll see, there's a there's a portal there, and we want to get across the room. So what you got to do is fall down into one. Yeah. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Okay. Gotta fall into this guy here. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Alright. Do it once more. Oh yeah. Now I think to make things more realistic, they say she's wearing uh, special shoes. The springs that we saw in episode one that uh, make it so that you don't hurt yourself when you fall. But we are using portals, so how realistic is this? I don't know. The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Oh, thank you. There's the other gun. Okay, let's see what our options are. So we don't want that one. We don't want that one. I think we want the first one. Should be coming up soon. Yep. Pick up the new gun. Get ready, boys. Here we go. Come on. Come on. The device uh, has been modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. Yeah. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in Subject hometown. Here. Uh, put a blue portal up there. Jump 
Put on this guy. Put an orange one here. And we are good to go. Almost done with this chamber. We have both guns now. Things should start getting more intense. Finally! Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. Boom. Alright, what test chamber was that at? 11? So, 11 test chambers down. It seems like an appropriate place to stop. We've got both guns now. We're going to be back at test chamber 12 in our next episode. So don't forget to comment. Let me know if I could have done things quicker, faster, better. Uh, if you're liking the playthrough or not, let me know. Alright, have a good one.